Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of A Piece of Trivia. It is going to be different this time because we have changed the rules and format yet again. Uh, the only thing that is the same is Paulo's black shirt. I own six black shirts and one dark gray. Dark gray? Black. <laughs> by, by dark gray he means his oldest faded black shirt. No, actually I do have that uh, the navy blue shirt that you Navy blue shirt. The only other shirt that he has that is not black is one that I bought him. Wow. We have changed things yet again, the format. We're trying to figure it out the best way to do it, the most fair way. So, five questions each again. Uh, two hard with multiple choice, a medium, and then some easy ones. That way it's a little more fair. Uh, whoever has the most out of five is the obvious winner. So with that, you're going down, buckaroo. I'm going, uh, I'm going down, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm going down. Well. And here we go. Question number one comes from Paulo to me. What is your question? My question starts to you. Yeah, oh, I need the answer. I mean, yes, I do need the answer. I <laughs> well, need the number. My number question is three. Number three. Medium. Medium. Blank is an attack by military force on a friendly or neutral troop while attempting an attack on the enemy. What is it called? Friendly fire. Yeah. Friendly fire. One out of five. Your turn. Uh, dose. Number two. How many notes? How many notes are on a standard grand piano? Multiple choice. Okay. Seventy-two, fifty-six, or eighty-eight. Hmm. Let me count. <laughs> let me picture. Let me picture a piano. Let me picture a piano. You have one in the back of your truck, just, just sitting there. Not a grand piano. Is there's the same, a key. Is the same thing. It is not. The, no. There's a keyboard <laughs> in the back of my truck. Not a grand piano. It's like got the same amount of notes, right? I have no idea. All right, it's a grand piano, so it's got to be a big number. I think I'm pretty sure the one in your truck has at least 52 notes, maybe. Those are counting like the black ones too, right? That's counting a note. Sure. You got 56, 72, or 88. I don't know. 88 seems like a lot. I'm going to go 72. Final answer. 72. Final answer is incorrect. Is it 88? It is 88. Good way to stay family friendly. Oh, um, frick! <laughs> okay. All right, question guys. for me. Here we go. My second question is number two. Number two. Go. Okay. This is an easy one. Easy? Okay. Where does Houston rank in the most populous city in the United States? Where does Houston rank in the most populous city? Yes. So you have New York number one, obviously. Mm -hmm. Houston is number four. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Why do you have to go back and look? I, would, I, would, I was like, no, because I, I, I was about to say, "Ha, you're wrong. It's number three. And then I was, oh no, wait, that's right. I wrote four. I'm stupid. Chicago, I believe, is number three. Yes. L. A. is number two. New York is number one. Good. Yes. All right, I'm up two five. You're up zero. Zero, really? Oh, you've only had the one. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. All right, go. One. One. Number one. Oh my god, it's another hard one. What was the original name, or the the first uh, suggested name, I suppose, or the original name, I can't remember exactly, of New York City? Original name of New York City. This one is a harder one, so it is a multiple choice. Was it North Albany, York Side, one word, York Side, or New Amsterdam? North Albany, York Side, or New Amsterdam? This was like 
like it, it used to be named this, or they thought about naming it this? I think it used to be named this, yes. Oh, it used to be named this? I believe so. I think that's what the question said. I might be wrong. Don't quote me. <laughs> New Amsterdam. New Amsterdam? That is correct. Uh, I feel like I heard that in a song somewhere. That is correct. So you're up one. I'm up two. two. No, number one. Wow, well, this is, um, ooh, this is a hard one. Okay. What was the original name for the new search engine at the time, Google, before it was released? What was the original name of Google before it was released as Google? Yes. This, was, this wasn't the official name that they came out with, but it was the name that they highly considered before. They were like, oh, no, actually Google. Go. What am I more? I'm over choice. A, Googleplex. B, back rub, or C, caffeine. I'm going to go with a B, back rub. Yeah. That, that. that was right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a good guess. Three out of five. There we go. Back rub. Back rub. It was called back rub. I don't know. It was weird. Back rub. Something back like rub. That. Well, yeah. I'm glad they didn't do that. Hey, man, what, what, what's the, what's the first name of, of New Amsterdam? Uh, I mean, I of New York. I don't know, man. You got to back rub it. <laughs> Let me go back rub it. Let me go back rub it. Did you back rub it? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you find that out? I back rubbed it. It doesn't have the same ring. No, it doesn't. Three. Three. How many... Question number three for Paulo. How many pairs of wings do bees have? How many pairs of wings do bees have? Fat. They can't fly with just one pair. But I feel like three pairs is too many. Two. Two pairs of wings? Two pairs of wings. That is correct. So they have four? They have four wings? Four wings, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Two pairs of wings. Two pairs of wings. Oh. Alright, two to three here. My turn. Question number Book. five. Uh, oh, this was your easy one. Uh, what was, what was one of Charlie Chaplin's first feature-length films? So there is like, uh, there is a first feature-length film, but people talk about like his first five, because they came in like almost in yeah. session. So think of any one what of those. Was one? Well, one of the five. The kid. Oh, that was actually the first one too. The orange. Yeah. Five. Number five. Paulo's question number five is, when, in what year, when, did Facebook first launch? When did it first go live, if you will? Multiple choice? No, you said you didn't need multiple choice on that. What year did Facebook launch? So, MySpace was a thing up until... 2003, maybe? Wow, he's kicking it back on my <laughs> Maybe like 2003, 2004, I don't know. You know, I mean... It, okay, it's uh, 2005, if it's wrong, tell me higher or lower, and that's it. I can't do that. Why not? That is, that's way too risky. Oh, because you're going to win for the third time when you're on show? Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, his first guess is... 2005. 2005 is incorrect. Higher or lower? It's one of the two. It is lower. It's lower? Lower. Damn, I kind of thought you were going to say higher. Facebook. First launch. What year? Second guess. There's no way it was a 19 something. 19 something. It was not in the 1900s. I don't think so. It was... I don't think it was the year 2000 either. It was not in the year 2000. It has to be 1 through 4. It's got to be one of those, I think. What's your guess? I'm going to narrow it down to... <laughs> so I think it's 2003. Um... <laughs> I think it's 2003, final answer. Asa, go ahead and draw. (laughs) 
Is that right? <laughs> and here we go again. Ah! I'm gonna need a minute. Um, your second guess is 2003. It's not going away. <laughs> so Paulo's second guess is 2003. That is incorrect. Was it 2004? It was 2004. Damn it! 2004 uh, was the correct answer. So I'm going to go with my last question. Number four. How heavy is an average hippopotamus? What are my choices? Is it A, Charlie Horse? B, Charlie Horse. Excruciable pain. Or C, dehydrated. <laughs> dehydrated. Uh, A, 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds. B, 5,000 pounds, or C, 1,000 pounds, for a hippo. For a hippo. 10,000, 5,000, or 1,000? Mm -hmm. I want to go with B on this one, 5,000. You are wrong, sir. It's 10,000 pounds. 10,000 for a hippo? Yeah, the average hippopotamus is 9,990 pounds. That's a big-ass hippo. That's a big-ass hippo. That's a big hippo. That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of hip, man. <laughs> That's a lot of hip. All right, well, I'm four out of five. Four out of five. Oh, you still got one question. Hey. Four. Uh, so the paper's on the floor. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can remember the question. Oh, what? Here's the question. Question four for Paulo. Question five for Paulo. You're, how many have you got right? Two? Two. Two. Two out of four right now. What kind of scientist studies rocks? Geologist. Geologist is correct. So now you got what? Three, three, out, of three out of five. What did I have? Four out of five. Four out of five. That was a close one. That was a, that was a close one. It looks like I'm the winner again for the game. Not, not for muscle cramps. Lost on that one. But anyway, yeah, keep tuning in. Keep uh, watching the podcast. Keep watching the uh, the uh, skits. We got more of them coming out. Um, I'll be fine. I think. Watch Brainstorm. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the bell. Like, subscribe, comment. Give us some ideas for challenges or whatnot. Hit us up. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. TTYL, bro. TTYL, BRB, OMG, LMFAO. LOL. Did you say that one? LOL. Uh, AOL. AOL. <laughs> IBM. <laughs> Bing. Bing. Back rub.